Hi friends, my name is Ratan. I'm working for Durga Soft Solutions as a Java trainer. So you know, so a number of videos will discuss Core Java. Regarding Core Java, I completed a number of videos. So Java is a class-based language. So generally, you know, Java class contains so many elements. The class class name. So the class contains total how many elements here? Five elements. What are the five elements rather? The first one is the variables. So already this five four elements already completed in the last videos. Uh, can you please check the last videos if you want these variables and methods and all. So our first element here variables, and the second one I completed methods. The third element I completed constructors. I completed constructors. The fourth one I completed instance blocks. Instance blocks are completed. So the last one here the static blocks. So that now for the class contains total how many elements here? Five elements: variables, methods, constructors, instance blocks, and the static blocks. So here the last class variables completed. How many types of variables here? Local variables, and the second one is the instance variables. A third one is the static variables. Don't say local variables and global variables. Local variables, global variables can't say belongs to belongs to belongs to C language. But coming to Java, how many types of variables here? Three types: local, instance, and the static. And methods also completed. How many types of methods in Java? Two types. One is the instance method. The second one is the static method. Instance and the static methods. Number three, constructor topic. How many types of constructors? Sir? So two types of constructors. So default constructor. The second one is the user defined constructors. The two constructors also completed. And the last class instance blocks also completed. Now in this video, we will discuss about static blocks. Once the static blocks are completed, so class is completed successfully. Once the class is completed successfully, then we are able to understand any Java related uh, technologies very easy format. So why Ratan? So you know how many types of variables, how many types of methods, how many types of constructors? What is the flow of execution? So you know every point. Once you know these all points, Android using the class only, Hadoop using class only, Selenium class only. So every technology, every framework nowadays depends on this Java class. Once this class is completed, then you are able to understand the Java projects easily. If you want, can you please uh, watch my videos regarding class variables, methods, constructors, instance blocks, static blocks perfectly. Watch my videos perfectly. After completion of these five elements perfectly, so then check your knowledge. Take any project, can please try to understand the project, then you are able to understand easily. So what I am saying, just uh, once you complete this class concept, every project seems to be very easy format. So I completed variables, methods, constructor, instance blocks. In this class, we will discuss static blocks. Coming to static blocks, you know, so static variables, static methods, static blocks. The static blocks use it to write the logics. Static blocks are purpose is what? Use it to write the logics. Those logics are executed during dot class file loading. So you know, static is always linked with the dot class loading. Always linked with the dot class loading. So the static blocks are used to write the logics. Those logics are executed during dot class file loading. During dot class file loading. So static variables, static methods, static blocks. But then what is the syntax of static blocks rather coming to syntax of static block so open brace closed brace this is a instance blocks this is called instance block just to declare the modifier which modifier here static modifier this block is called static block here logic sir you can write the logics here this is called static block simple point so static blocks write the logics the static blocks are used to write the logics so these logics are executed during dot class file loading. Ratan, so I don't know when the dot class file is loaded, Ratan, can you please tell me? So that is not a great point. So you know how to execute the particular class in the command prompt. We are typing the Java command. We are trying to execute the test class. Click on enter button. When we are trying to execute the test class, so it performs the two actions at runtime. JVM performs how many actions here? Two actions. What are the two actions for them? Action number one. 
when we trying to execute a particular class first of all jvm loads corresponding dart class file bytecode into memory so jvm first of all it is loading in dart class file bytecode into memory during dart class file load into memory the static blocks are executed after loading the dart class file jvm calls main method to start the execution so total at runtime how many steps step number 1 jvm loads dart class file bytecode into memory after loading it calls which method it calls main method to start the execution it calls which method main method to start the execution i hope clear so during dart class file only the static blocks will be executed so here tell me how many times the static uh, dart class file is loaded into memory tell me how many times dart class file is loaded into memory you know when you trying to execute the class only one time dart class file will be loaded only one time dart class file is loaded means how many times static blocks are executed only one time rather than instance block instance blocks execution depends on object creation rather than i created 10 objects 10 times instance blocks are executed so instance blocks execution depends on object creation when we create the 10 objects 10 times instance blocks are executed but commit the static blocks the static blocks execution depends on class loading so the class is loaded only once so how many times the static blocks are executed only once clear good so practical i'll write example check it so develop the application edit plus editor in edit plus editor i agree go to the file menu click on new so java so you know so this is my class name so in the last video i completed instance block in this example i will cover both instance and static blocks so instance block syntax is just to open brace close brace system dot out dot println this is my instance block this is my instance block after instance block i am declaring the static block syntax of the static block i hope you know the syntax static open brace close brace this is called static block the system dot out dot println of Tell me, this is my static block, right? So one instance block I declare, one static block I declare. So here, in the last class I said, inside the class, it is possible to declare the multiple instance blocks and multiple static blocks also possible. Tell me, inside the class, multiple instance blocks are possible, multiple static blocks also possible. Here, I will declare the two instance blocks generally. the two instance block this is instance block 2 i am declaring two static blocks this is my static block this is my static block always the execution order is top to bottom this is static block 1 static block 2 tell me total how many instance blocks here two instance blocks and how many static blocks two static blocks so clear good and uh, but concentrate i am declaring one constructor also so constructor name class name same so concentrate in order to understand this all points so we must watch my previous videos in instance blocks and constructors so this is my constructor i am writing the constructor system dot out dot println right this is my how many argument constructor here zero arg constructor if i want i will declare one more constructor control c control v and parameters constructor i declared in this array but concentrate in this one i am trying to i am trying to execute the test class i am i am trying to create the object test class object so this is a named object or nameless object this is obviously nameless object without reference variable i declare and a new test of what a second object here passing the ten value total how many constructors i declared here two constructor now tell me in this example how many objects are created here how many objects are created obviously so i saved my application so java by pro java programs folder so in this example i declare two instance blocks i declare two static blocks i declare two constructors and i am creating how many objects here two objects so you i said instance blocks execution depends on object creation so how many objects you created that may number of times instance blocks will be executed what about static block rather than static blocks are executed only once dart class file loading dart class file loading so good so here here how many objects i created here tell me two objects tell me how many times instance blocks will be executed two times but dart class file is loaded how many times only one time 
point is clear so two objects are created two times instance blocks will be executed but how many times the static blocks are executed only one time the static block will be executed now rathan it contains the instance blocks and uh, constructors also you know this application contains instance blocks and constructors the instance blocks and constructors both are executed during object creation only both are executed during object creation only but tell me constructor executed first and instance blocks executed first last two day completed points so during object creation first the instance blocks are executed then constructors will be executed now can you please observe in this example finally i created two objects i created how many objects two objects during object creation first instance block executed then constructor will be executed and what about static block here the static block will be executed during dart class file loading the static block is executed during dart class file loading so based on my explanation i will compile and execute the application so can please check the application output check the output command prompt initially control is in local disk c but my application is saved in local disk g in the local disk g i am saving my application java by ratan folder subfolder to change to the subfolder change directory cd command and uh, one more subfolder is there the folder is java programs folder then i move to the java programs folder in that java programs folder your application is there java compiler can you please compile my application java c test dot java jvm can you please execute the test class so can you please observe the static block is executed only once during dart class file loading first of all static blocks are executed then during object creation this is a first constructor first object during object creation first instance blocks executed then constructor during second object once again instance blocks executed then constructor will be executed then constructor will be executed i hope point is clear so instance blocks execution depends on object creation static blocks execution depends on class loading how many times the class is loaded only one time the static blocks are executed only one time i hope this point is clear so control v i am saving this example just this is my example number 1 tell me static blocks what is syntax of static block syntax of static blocks just the static modifier open brace closer brace here write the logic so inside the class it is possible to declare the multiple static blocks or single static block multiple static blocks are possible the execution order is top to bottom so clear so good so this is application i will do some modification in this example so concentrate now i remove this object now tell me what is output for how many objects i created here one object one object means how many times the instance blocks will be executed only one time static blocks uh, during dart class file loading only one time now if you want check this output always sir uh, don't stick with one example so static block is executed once then instance block zero has been constructed try to do the modification exist exam existing example always create one more object check the output create one more object check the output so do the modification in the example check the output then get the knowledge always the faculty saying one example we are uh, typing that example uh, huh? lab same process so what is the same process right so that is the reason so there is reason so in this example so can please modify the each and every line so remove the one static block compile and execute it so check the output what is happening so always don't think with the don't stick with the faculty examples the faculties are very dangerous and you also very dangerous so the faculty is giving one example so we are entering into lab in the lab we are typing the same example compiling executing output is complete output is generated then practicals over practicals over ha tell me practicals over the faculty is giving one example we are in lab uh, typing same example with the semicolon also not missed dot also not missed we are typing same example ha uh, once the program is completed you are saying what out once the output is generated you are thinking 
oh today is uh, practicals complete i didn't practicals but i am not getting job how oh, we are getting job point is clear there is reason so always take one example try to modify that example try to analyze a subject try to analyze a subject hmm dangerous don't uh, copy paste the uh, faculty example don't compare and execute hmm don't do like that point is clear good so this uh, so i am giving example in that example always try to modify remove one static block remove one constructor compile and execute remove two constructors compile and execute so always do the modification try to compile and execute try to get the most object don't always stick with the faculty knowledge i'm already told you don't believe the theoretical knowledge always believe the practical things who need the theoretical hmm in the companies they always require the practical knowledge you completed structs springu hibernate but you are not getting any job why you are not getting any you are not doing any practicals ratan i am doing practicals ratan we are doing copy paste not practicals ah uh, taking the book uh, opening the program ah uh, copy paste dorno so just uh, we are opening the book we are typing opening book see in the book typing seeing book typing practicals completed ah uh, very dangerous so always try to do the modification try to get the subject competition world heavy competition you know the reason is always try to analyze at least to every day one hour is enough to do the practicals of java one hour is enough but you are uh, no time to do the practicals of java anyhow so anyhow try to remember my words always uh, believe the practicals clear good so always do the modifications on existing examples i will do the more how i i will i so in this example i will do some modifications i will compare and execute can please check how i am doing the modifications and all so check this example here so here i am creating two objects so do the comparison to the execution static block one static block two block one block two zero arc block one block two zero arc ones so concentrate i removed all object there is no objects here if there is no objects here there is no constructors here nothing two instance block two static blocks tell me in this case what is the output rather so compile it code is compiled so any main method any code is here there is no code inside the main method but dart class file is loaded dart class file is loaded right during dart class file loading static blocks are executed automatically if you want check it static block one static block two ratan before calling main method only static blocks are ready i removed main method i removed main method so concentrate this instance blocks also not required so leave it instance blocks also i declare two static blocks ratan tell me in this case what is the output here dart class by loading time static block one static block two will be printed now concentrate here i removed main method also so before calling main only dart class is loading before calling main only dart class file is loading first of all dart class is loading static blocks executed then it is calling main method any main method here there is no main method error will be generated so now the question here whether the two static blocks are executed or not the question here the two static blocks are executed or not so can please do the compilation and execution so code is compiled so what is saying here main method is not found in the class please define the main method as public static void main string array args now tell me what is the conclusion here hmm what is the conclusion so here concentrate first of all class is loading a the main is executed a based on our general discussion class is loaded one first after loading the class it is calling main method to start the execution so during dart class while loading only static blocks are executed then it is calling main method there is no main method error but static blocks are executed or not clear for this one the simple point up to 1.5 version up to 1.5 version without the main method without main method we can write the two static blocks those static blocks executed during dart class while loading up to 1.5 version without main method 
we can write the two static blocks that static blocks are executed during dart class file loading no problem from 1.6 version onwards in order to execute the static blocks also inside the class main is mandatory so concentrate so to load the class so on, to execute the class inside the class main is mandatory so i will repeat the one more the one more tense point concentrate up to 1.5 version inside the class without main method it is possible to declare the two static blocks or more than two static blocks it is possible to execute the static blocks executed no problem but from 1.6 version onwards it is possible to Mm, to, it is to execute the static blocks inside the class main is mandatory inside the class main is mandatory point is clear that's the reason it's generating error message but this code is compiled and executed 1.5 version this code is compiled and executed in 1.5 version point is clear it's very very important point now interview asking a simple question what is the question Ratan? the question here is it possible to print some statements SOP statement some statements in output console without using main method or not I will repeat the question one more time is it possible to print some statements data in output console without using main method or not tell me without using main method it is possible to print the some statements or not possible or not possible without main method it is possible to print some data in output console or not so just now I completed so it is possible to print some data in output console up to 1.5 version without main method so without main method we can write the code inside the static block that static blocks are executed during dart class file loading during dart class file loading because reason up to 1.5 version Without stat without main method also the static blocks code will be executed. We are able to print the data in output console. But from 1.6 version onwards, to print the data in output console, main is mandatory. Main is mandatory. The last point I will repeat one more time. So, so to print the data in output console up to 1.5 version, main is optional. Without main, by using static block, we are able to print the data in output console. But from 1.6 version onwards, to print the data in output console, inside the class main is mandatory. Inside the class main is mandatory. This is information about your static blocks. So tell me what the purpose of static blocks here? To write the logics. These logics are executed class loading. How many times the class is loaded? One time. How many times the class static blocks are executed? Only one time. Instance blocks execution? Instance blocks execution depends on object creation. I am creating 10 objects means 10 times uh, instance blocks will be executed, right? Good. So there is, this is uh, information about the static blocks. And one more point regarding the static block here. So tell me, I said one point. What is the point here? Inside the class, declare the main method. So in order to execute the static blocks, inside the met, inside the in order to execute the static blocks inside the class main is mandatory or optional inside the class main is mandatory or optional i said mandatory right so without main static blocks are not executed right good here the small problem is there what is the problem Ratan? class a class b class c class a contains static blocks class b also contains static blocks class c also contains static block i would like to execute the three class static blocks but my A class contains main method, B C classes doesn't contains main method. B C classes doesn't contains main method. But I said to execute the static blocks, main is mandatory, right? Main is mandatory. But uh, in order to execute the static blocks, in every class we are unable to write the main method. Main method static block, main method static block, main method static block. So in the three classes we are unable to do like that, right? So now Ratan, what is the solution? I hope problem is clear. Class A static block, class B static block, class C static block, but class A only contains main. I would like to execute the class B static blocks also, I would like to execute class C static blocks also. But don't write the main method in every class. Don't write the main method in every class. 
rather than how. The point is clear. I will develop this application. Concentrate. For example, this is my assume class A. The class A contains static block. What is static block syntax? Static open brace closer brace. System dot auto dot println. This is my tell me. This is my static block A. A class static block, right? This class contains main method. This class contains main method. So I save the application A dot Java. In the command prompt, in the command prompt, tell me Java compiler can please compile A dot Java. So JVM can please execute which class A class. Static block is executed or not? Because it contains main method. I am declaring one more class B class. B class there is no main method, but this is static. So static block is there. So assume system dot out dot println. Here I am writing this is my B class static block. This is my B class static block. Control S. This is my B dot Java. Can please open this one. Can please compile the B dot Java. Code is compiled. JVM B class. Main method is not found. But concentrate. I am unable to write the main method in every every class. Every class writing the main method is not recommended. Every class writing the main method is not recommended. So that is the reason. So I am declaring one more class. So class C. The class C also. I am writing a static block. Open brace, closer brace. Now system dot auto dot print enough. System dot out dot print enough. This is my which block? Static block. C class static block. C class static block. C class static blocks. Then I save this application C dot Java. Total how many files are ready? A dot Java, B dot Java, C dot Java. To execute the static blocks, main is mandatory. Here I declared main, but here I am not declaring main. Here I am not declaring main. But I, I am interested to execute. I, I would like to execute B static blocks and C dot C static blocks. What is my intention here? I would like to execute B class static blocks and C class static blocks also. Rather than how to execute rather than. But concentrate. In the command prompt level, when you type the Java C C dot Java, so Java C, it generating error message. So don't uh, execute the class by using Java command. Don't execute the class by using Java command. So inside the A dot Java, can you please load the. So can you please load the. So in A dot Java file. I, I declared a dot java right in the a dot java file main is there public static void main the string array arcs I declare so ARGS is there and I'm having the a class is there B uh, like uh, two, two classes C B class B C classes this is the a class right inside the a class can you please load the B class and C class programmatically so don't execute the java java C class java B class don't execute the command by using java command java a java c java b like so can you please load b dot class file byte code into memory dynamically by using one method that method name is called for name method so point is clear so don't execute the b and c classes by using java command can you please load this b and c class dynamically into memory at runtime by using which method for name method so for name is a static method so you know how to call the static methods in java by using class name so for name is a static method for name is a static method so how to call the static method by using class name for name is a static method present in class 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 name itself is called class class dot for name tell me i would like to load which class file here a b class uh, okay this is a class means the b class i would like to load it so programmatically we are loading programmatically we are loading is what happened b static blocks will be executed In the same way can please load the c class also class dot for name of double quote c c class file is also loaded c class static blocks also executed the point is clear so when we execute the class programmatically by using java command inside the class main is mandatory
inside the class main is mandatory to execute the chuan to execute the static blocks without using main method at then my class b is there without main but i would like to execute static blocks so to execute static blocks don't use the java command can you please load the b class and c class into memory by using which method for name method so finally simple point here. if you want to execute the static blocks programmatically java class name then main is mandatory then main is mandatory hey no ratan i am dynamically loading by using for name method if you are using for name method main is optional main is optional i will load the for name method the theory seems to be heavy theory is very little bit heavy so do the practicals i will get the class dot for name i would like to load which class here a dot class file within the double quotes a file so class not a class b class and c class but you know b class c class doesn't contains any main method but programmatically we are loading into memory right programmatically we are loading means the static blocks will be executed so do the compilation of just a class code is compiled oh, it's saying error message what the compilation error here Uh, class not found exception. So we are trying to load the class, but if runtime class is not available, problem is occur, right? So we are trying to load the B class and C class. Assume if the runtime the B class is not available, C class is not available, problem is occur. So class not found exception. So we will discuss this exception in later classes. Just in this example, remember throws class not found exception. So code is compiled. Can please execute the Java A class. so static block a b class static block c class static block so concentrate here this is a for name method i'm using for name method when we load the file by using for name method main method is optional when we execute the file by using java command main is mandatory to execute the static blocks so this is the static block uh, information so clear I hope this point is clear, everyone. I'm repeating number of times. I hope it's a little bit boring, so I'm not interested to repeat one more time these points. So leave it. This is information regarding static blocks. This is one point. Static blocks are used to write the logics. Those logics are executed during class loading. And one more advantage regarding static blocks: the static blocks are used to initialize static variables. The static blocks are used to initialize static variables. So initialization also done in during class file loading only, right? So tell me what the purpose of static blocks? Static blocks are used to initialize static variables. For this one, I will write one example also. So check the example ones. This one also I will complete one example. So this is my test file. I'm writing this to static blocks not required. For example, I declared integer employee ID semicolon. This is my static variable. So static variable. I'm declaring static void disp method. In the disp method, the static void disp method. In the disp method just I'm trying to print that value. The system dot out dot print enough. Always try to call the static variables by using class name test dot employee employee ID. Now that I'm calling directly possible. Or possible no problem directly also possible but always try to call the static variables by using class name then main method declaration public static void main so tell me string array args so here just i would like to call the disp method disp is also static method how to call the static method test dot disp method control s so do the compilation for application name here test dot java So Java C test dot Java code is compiled. So code is compiled. Any only bit. So in, we are assigning employee. We are declaring employee ID. We are printing that employee ID. Tell me, we are assigning any value here? We are not assigning any value. Means what the default value of the integer zero, right? So that zero will be printed. So code is compiled. Java the class name is a test. What is our put here? Zero will be printed. Zero will be printed, right? Good. Now. Rather than I would like to initialize the static variable. 
to initialize the static variable we use the static blocks static block open brace closer brace employee id equal to triple two the static blocks are executed during class loading only during class loading only the class loading time it is initializing the values to static variable once initialize the value tell me what is output here so code is compiled code is executed triple two will be printed in this example the static block is initializing values to which variable static variable during class loading the static blocks are used to initialize static variable during class loading so point is clear so this information regarding static blocks just two advantages advantage number one uh, write the logics those logics are executed during class loading so the classic number which one advantage number two the static blocks are used to initialize static variables clear good so check the class the static blocks also completed the class contains so many elements class contains so many elements five elements what are five elements here variables methods constructors instance blocks static blocks tell me how to five elements which block which element is executed first dot class while loading static blocks are executed first during object creation first instance blocks are executed then constructor part will be executed and methods instance method during object creation static method during class loading instance method during object creation static static variables during class loading there is information about your class so the java class related all videos are completed all videos are all uploaded so if you want to uh, check this all videos once uh, you complete these five elements successfully then you are able to understand each and every java project in easy format so in front of the camera i'm saying and everything so i hope uh, if a little bit boring so i am unable to do anything so try to take the pen and paper write the points so don't get boring so here these points are important so if it is a live class means no problem in the live class i will give my level best but in the video class i hope you understand clear so these are the static blocks so these are the five elements of the class so based on the all five elements i will write one example based on the all five elements i will write one example check your example clear good so here based on the all elements i will write one example that example we covered all the variables methods constructors and all concentrate i declared instance variables integer a equal 10 this is called which variable here instance variable i declared static int b equal 20 this variable is called what static variable i declared void m1 this method is called instance method system dot out dot print ln of this is my instance method it is expecting integer a a value what is one here static void m2 this method is called static method it is expecting some string argument string str value just the inside the method just i am printing sop statement system dot out dot print ln of this is my static method i am declaring two constructors tell me how to declare the constructors constructor name class name same open brace closer brace the system dot out dot print ln of this is how many argument constructor zero arg constructor zero arg constructor the next one is the test of uh, so here system system dot out dot print ln of this is my how many argument constructor i am passing so one arg constructor so here i am passing in this a value total two constructors i am declaring two instance blocks syntax is just open brace closer brace the system dot out dot print ln of this is called a instance block so one instance block is enough a declared instance block so you know static block declaration just like instance block only but the difference here just to declare the modifier static modifier just declare which modifier static modifier completed i hope every point is covered good then just i am creating two objects how to create the object tell me test t equal to new test of i called t dot m1 method you know how to call the instance methods call the instance method by using object so before instance method 
when i create the object this is the constructor this constructor will be executed and one more object one more constructor is there test t1 equal to new test of how many argument constructor it is one argument constructor can you please pass one argument here i call t dot m1 how to call instance methods in java by using object how many objects are ready two objects are available you can use any one object you can call the instance method i would like to call t dot m1 but t dot i hope m1 is expecting one argument which argument here integer argument i pass integer and m2 method what about m2 method here static method test dot m2 method completed simple example simple example so clear test dot m2 but m2 method is also expecting one argument which argument here string argument i am passing rather based on this explaining execution come to execution point of view first of all static blocks are executed then control goes to main method this is called object creation during object creation first which block is executed first instance block executed then constructor here also first instance blocks executed then constructor then which method is executed m1 method will be executed here which method is executed m2 method will be executed then tell me what is output here sample example simple static block instance block constructor instance block constructor m1 method m2 method so control s code is compiled code is executed so check your output static block instance block constructor instance block constructor instance method static method this is your output this is your output every point is clear so in this base sample simple example i will cover all elements i will cover all elements good now successfully java class has completed with example also clear any doubts regarding this uh, class test class class elements variables completed methods completed constructors completed instance blocks are completed and uh, static blocks also completed so clear so complete this uh, listen all the videos check all the videos once you complete all the elements and get some feeling you are able to do anything in java so clear thank you my friends bye